everybody, my name is Professor Tabor Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab, and today we're going to be looking at the exit slip of discontinuity of functions. Now, before we start by clicking on this video, you are obligated to learn with me, and I am obligated to teach you. Now, let us salute Sir Isaac Newton for creating the beautiful subject of calculus. All right, now get the hell out. Here is for what we have for our exit clip. Now, you should remember the three types of discontinuity we explored earlier in the big idea. I'll put a link to it in the description. Now, the jump discontinuity, the removable discontinuity, the infinite discontinuity. If you haven't seen that before, just get a feel to them before we start the advanced stuff with that. Jump discontinuity is basically you have to jump from one point to another. There's an instant change in y that doesn't correspond with the original function. You can say the output isn't equal to the actual value. The y value of this whole isn't equal to the y value of the actual value. So, now, that's a jump discontinuity. There's also the removable discontinuity, where you can remove the discontinuity. For example, when the limit is x supposed to 0. When x is 0, then this all goes to waste because of the denominator. But, when x goes to 0, we can also do this. We can factor out x squared. And then, we just get 5. We just get 5. Negative infinity, right over here, let's say, it jumps all the way up, all the way to positive infinity. So, it's a discontinuity that stretches to damn infinity. So that's why it's called an infinite discontinuity. Oh, right. this is the fourth type of discontinuity at a point. So, what do we have over here? Well, what we can see is a very normal linear function, and then suddenly, walking, 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 it's a pothole. Where does this kind of segment go? Well, think of a point. It's a very tiny, 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 tiny chop, a little segment in the line. Then, let's say you chop out that segment and then just put it up a few Y values. Kind of like a jump, but it goes right back down as soon as it goes up. Kind of like a jump discontinuity. So, this is discontinuity at a point. Now, what is the problem for our exit slip? The pause and solve this question. How do we find the four types of discontinuity shown in this function? I'm going to give you five seconds. Five, pause the video for more time. Three, two, one. All right. So, the four types of discontinuity, right? Well, first, let's see what we can spot. So, there's a discontinuity here. It seems like we have to jump from here to here. So, that's our first type of discontinuity, the jump discontinuity. So, this is one for the first this type of discontinuity. Then what about this? Well, it's a removable discontinuity. Why? Well, because it's really just standing there. And you can remove it from the function. So I think that would be two, right? Uh, yeah, that's number two. So this is two. And once again, we have a jump. So I'm just going to write a big one so it gives it the entire thing. 
supposed to go over here. So, this part of the thing over here, and we can see number three, because there's a giant stretch from positive to negative infinity. So this is number three, and then we'll have number four. Where? Well, over here. You can see it jumps up to some y value before going back down. So this is our final thing, number four. So those are the four types of discontinuity in the graph. We will see you in homework.